So we got Ali's van in the shop today and we're going to be doing another seat swap. So this one's a little bit different. The last seat that we did, the full track went in and you could slide it all the way back. Ali is looking to do this a bit differently. He's got a really nice subfloor in place here. So we obviously don't want to cut into that floor. So what we're going to do today is we're going to modify the rails so that they're going to butt up right against it, but not into it. And we're going to try and reuse the original mounting positions as well. The problem is this side here. So we're lined up nicely in the front, but as you can see, we've got a massive amount of room between the rail and the original mounting hole back here. So our options are either to try and build a bracket that's going to pick up on this mounting hole, or we drill a hole through the floor. I think we're gonna try and do the bracket here instead. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this guy off, make a bracket, weld the original mount back on, and then bolt it up. figured out what we're gonna try and do here. The fronts are bolted in and I've cut off the original brackets. That bracket will mount here. We're gonna use a piece of quarter plate to weld it in, keep it nice and strong. But this side is the interesting part. So this one here, our rail comes back and whereas we have the hole on the outside here, it's underneath on this side. We could just drill a hole and put the bolt straight through, but then the problem is the rear wheel on the seat is going to butt into the bolt and it's going to prevent the seat from going back to its final lock. Bring the gun up higher. Even while welding? Yeah. Yeah, you'll know if you start pulling away or pushing it too close, it's gonna start sounding funny. Closer, closer. Like this is like way too airy to actually like <laughs> hold anything, right? It is, oh yeah, that would do a damn thing. Nice and slow. Might have to get me one of these. The prettier the tack is, the nicer the final weld's gonna look when we go over. Oh no, <laughs> that's not even making contact. Connected. Doing something. You will do this. I actually thought I was gonna test fit it after he does the work. <laughs> All right. Wow, first time. All right, we gotta come out, because now we gotta weld the rest of it. All right, so I'll let him do the tack, but I think for the final weld, I'll do that and then, uh, make him weld the bottom up though. We'll see. <laughs> Oh, 
wait for the paint to dry. We may as well modify the seat so it'll spin 360 degrees. You'll see there's some tabs, two on the bottom swivel and then two on the top. One here and one down there. We're gonna cut the tabs off. I'm also gonna remove some of these uh, extra brackets in here because they're no longer needed. So this bracket on the side and right in here. Got so one 10 mil, two 12 mils. Right in here, there's a piece of floor which is raised and it needs to be hammered down to clear the rail. So I'm just gonna try hammer it down through the carpet, see if this works. If it doesn't work, then we're gonna have to pull this panel up. Yes, this is gonna look and sound abusive. change yeah that means we're down okay that's all bolted up and we did a few things a bit differently this time than how I usually install the seats and it was mainly because of this flooring in the back being raised up but honestly I think I like it this way a little bit more so I'm gonna walk you through what we did because I don't know if we actually went through it while I built it we've got a quarter inch plate here which has been welded in underneath and then this is the original seat mount cut from the front and moved back here and welded back in place on the other side we've taken the original mount that was on the back of the rail way back there somewhere cut it off and it's been mounted to a quarter inch spacer underneath and welded back to the rails as well on the front We've reused the original brackets, just like we always do, but we put a quarter inch spacer in underneath. Now that spacer runs from the bolt all the way to the far side of the rail. Ah! Oh yeah. That's more like it. Well, I think it's almost two in the morning now. If you enjoyed, hit that like and subscribe. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Woo!